<laughs> the song now? I don't think it's a hit. There's just music. Okie dokie then. Yeah. Hey, Adrian. Well, well, I don't know whose tune it was, but I do like it. Um, for the tune, that is. I, I, thought, I thought they ran out of lyrics after about one verse. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the lead guitarist ran out of notes after about a bar. <laughs> um, but it's, it's a bit of a groove. I wish people could be wittier with lyrics these days. You know the old R&B men used to have a few sort of saucy jokes? Yes. But people don't seem to have that anymore, do they? No, they don't. No, it's a pity. It is a pity. But it's a bit of a nice groove. Courtney. I think they picked a, a nice location for the tune. It's kind of apt, you know, cemeteries and, and stuff. But um, I like the stuff that the Stranglers did. And I like the way Bruno plays bass. Next. There you are, Fish. Again, it's like the, that, the Dogs to the Moor track. It's one I'd like to see live. It's the sort of thing that you get really into, like, blasting out of PA. They were always trying to put down on vinyl, like, as close to live as possible. And I think that misses out a little bit. It doesn't have the energy. And if it had a, a bit more energy, I think it would have been a lot more accessible. And I think it could have been bigger. There are them. Well, I wondered if I could ask you all to commit yourselves to voting. Oh, how interesting, how marvellous. This is the bit of the show I particularly like, because this is when we turn to the people that we've specially chosen, going, who we found going in and out of record shops or in and out of mental institutions over the years. <laughs> and they are the members of the public, record by members of the public, who are, allowed, who are going to now vote it a hit or a miss. Second jury, please give us your verdict. <laughs> Well, um, I should, uh, you're going to be gutted now, you three in the audience, because, of course, our mystery guests this week are the Purple Helmets, ladies Hooray! and gentlemen. Hooray! <laughs> I love them. <laughs> hey, guys. Thank you, Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Is there anything you want to say to the guests? No. Yeah, they just can't take I, a good joke. I said, I said some bad things, but I voted it a hit. Fine. Remember the jokes? Fine. Remember the jokes? Fine. Yeah. I love everything else you've done. <laughs> <laughs> I love your clothes and your boots <laughs> and everything. <laughs> like that? Well, yeah, 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 not not that close there. Well, yeah. thank you very much for, 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 for coming, and there's a mystery gift for you both. Oh, and thank you for staying in the mystery hovel. It's pretty sexy in there, isn't it? The mystery yes. hovel. Have they gone? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mr. Edmondson. I'll never speak to them again. <laughs> <laughs>